Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's so dark and dreary in here. I'm just, even with this bright light on, that's the only way you can see the yellow of the paper I got covering up the camera. So I'm just going to play something for you that I want you to hear. It's on, um, well, it was shared by Grafted in Team Jesus. It's on their channel. It's called First Fruits, dot, 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 quote, The Elect and the End of Times Conflict, dash, well, I guess that's where the quote should end, shared by, and this is in quotes, separation from the world, unquote, channel. Okay, so apparently there's a YouTube channel. This is a YouTube video. Sha separation from the world. All That's all squished together, no spaces. Each word is capitalized if you want to look them up. I'll put the link and all that in the description box. Just take a listen. My first fruits kingdom army, the manifested sons and daughters, as the hordes of hell come against you, proclaim, proclaim my promises. A great and mighty acceleration is upon you. You are seeing and experiencing this, not only in the physical, but even more so in the spiritual. The days of Noah are here, evil is heralded as good, and all that is holy is now openly mocked and profaned. Truly, these are the last days. My word has taught you, when you see these things, hearken to me, to my voice, and look up for your redemption draws nigh. As great advancements are made by man in areas of science, medicine, and technology, the beast system becomes more acceptable and more desired. As the creator's ways will be considered obsolete, I will force my ways on no one, so those choosing against me are given over to their wills and desires. The outcome is absolute separation from me for eternity, so be it. It is imperative my set-apart ones, absolutely crucial now that you accelerate in all I have taught you. You have not been immune to the tremendous testings and trials, for some, I have allowed a deeper revelation of how far Satan's plans have advanced, and how much more the darkness overcomes. Many are desperate, fatigued, and discouraged. I say to you now rise up. Proclaim my word. Proclaim my promises over yourselves and your loved ones. Prophesy over your lives and that of your families. Declare that the victory is won. Never has there been a more important time to boldly proclaim my word and with great power and authority. You are not victims. You are my sons and my daughters, my cherished ones, my jewels. Have I not said to you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper? The enemy only has access to your life if you have allowed him in. Ensure in every moment that I am the gatekeeper of your hearts. Total commitment on every level is the key to keeping your armor tightly fastened. Praise and worship and unceasing prayer and fellowship with me ensures your victory. Believe in all the promises my word has given you, for in this, my holy word, you possess the most powerful weapon. Though the hordes of hell are coming against you, near you, they cannot come when it is my robe of righteousness dipped in my spilled blood that covers you. In my blood, all is one, all is done. It is only for you to have the faith to claim this, walk in this, and then testify to the world all this has been done for you. Cry out and proclaim cry out this moment and always my little rose it is i who was redeemed from among men it is i the perfect sacrifice whose blood atones for all sins in those who believe it is i who was dead but is alive for evermore and i who dwells in the hearts of my chosen ones tell them of my army daughter tell them of the ones who have set themselves apart from the world the ones who have kept themselves pure and the ones whom I have been training in secret, these are they that haven't continued to undergo the most fiery trials of the potter, in order that the purest form of their creator manifests through them. These are those the world hates and persecutes, ridicules and rejects because they do not take their orders from conventional man-made ways. This group is my entire army, those who have only been counseled by their commander-in-chief, the king of all creation. Those who have given up this life in order to gain me in a most intimate way, I have perfected them through their obedience, and they move in harmony with my spirit. In their weakness, I am made strong. Their struggles are many, 
but the outcome of their surrendered lives will produce the greatest harvest the world has ever known. Although considered least in this world, these chosen ones are my precious jewels, the diadems in my crown. Tell the world daughter that these, my army, cannot be stopped, and the world has never seen anything like them. Great will be their abilities as the source of their power is not of this realm. Their strength is drawn from my throne directly and all are in union as one spirit in me. Tell them who will listen to what I am saying. This army will be called to public duty at any moment and all will change suddenly. At my appointed time, I will call them and they shall arise. The time for the manifestation of my mature sons and daughters has arrived. When my word speaks of all creation groaning for the return of these sons and daughters, it speaks of this time of now. My work on the cross completed so many things that were not understood at that time. My example was to show my people what my people were able to walk in. Even then, all that I spoke and all that was done that day was not understood in its completion. Therefore all of creation has still been awaiting the time when my spirit is completely unified in the members of my body in this realm, and my church operates as one, one body, one spirit, hearing the voice of the one true shepherd. This time has finally come, and is finally upon you. I have raised up a standard of people who have heeded my warnings, who have answered the call upon their lives, who have come under my anointing, and who now walk in my complete power and authority, fully mature, with the deepest understanding of what was accomplished that day, not only my sacrifice, but my resurrection and ascension. My mature sons and daughters have come to the full realization of what truly happened, and the gift that was given to them. I will take unto myself the first fruits harvest, I will gather all those to me who have come to this maturity, for they will be used mightily. Many are the manifestations and the tasks purposed for each one, set before you now, and being revealed in their entireties, you who know, know that it is the time that I will draw you unto myself. The greatest work is yet to be done, but I now have a body, a body of believers who understand why I came, who understand what was made available to them, who understand what it means to be co-heirs to my kingdom, and these, my manifested sons and daughters of the Most High have now come under my anointing and walk in the fullness of who I am, I will gather the fields that are so ripe for the harvest, as my sickle has come to reap, and to cast away all that is not of me. My kingdom army will arise to their positions much sooner than you think, they will come, a world that has been plunged into utter darkness, and that is so desperate, will be shown the light and the love of their creator through my chosen ones, for I will be the lamp and the light through my ambassadors, those who carry my torch and burn brightly for me, glorifying me in all that they say and all that they do, the greatest miracles of all times will be seen as I pour out my power over this earth. Truly I tell you this day, the kingdom of heaven is come to this earth, for I have established a people, a mighty nation, a royal priesthood in this place and the world will soon know that I am that I am. Come and gather yourselves together, joining hearts all over this world and hear the directives of your captain, who speaks as one voice to share his heart. Sup with me, dine with me, celebrate with me, all those that will be joining the kingdom for many will come. Blessed to you who have been found worthy to escape all that is upon this place, for truly I tell you I have set you apart and my spirit has caused you to remember only that, which those who are intimate with me could know, forsake all else to hear my voice, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partake Okay, that's the My end of it. Fruits Kingdom Oops, Army. Started the right manifested. over again. Okay. I just uh, entered Separation from the World Channel into a new search. I found them on YouTube. I don't know how old this video is. It's not in this first four bunch. But what popped up on the feed was a picture Jubilina redeemed. Her little dog has gone on to be with the Lord. She will see her soon. We know Jubilina is one of the 144K. Lena. Her name is Lena. I, 
I still, you know, I know she's sad. I knew they were attacking her dog. She almost died about six weeks ago. She prayed over her and she made it. She pulled through. But I think she was like 15 years old. Anyway, isn't this a glorious message, though? Fruits, he's calling us his first Fruits Warrior Army, y'all. We are the Warrior Army. I'll take this off. I wish, you know, maybe if I sat at my table over there that has a bright lamp on it, I would do better. The table's just made weird, and a chair barely fits between the, the legs of it. It's not a very comfortable place to sit at. I rescued that little table off the curb next to some garbage cans. Believe it or not, I flipped that thing upside down on my lap and brought it home with me riding in my power wheelchair. I imagine that was quite a sight to anybody that drove by. And I offered it to people here. I thought, this is too nice a table to just throw out. A maintenance man came and took a picture of it to maybe give it to his daughter for a vanity. It would have been a perfect little vanity. I even had bought a stool for it, but it was sat too low. The table sits a little higher than an average, say, kitchen table. It was made. This was clearly made in shop or at home, somebody's, at somebody's home. Because the legs are not a standard with the part to fit a regular dining room chair under. It's kind of weird, huh? It's a corner table. Anyway, I'm brambling about nothing. I was just going to say I painted it up and kept it. <laughs> I use, it's my craft table, but I don't work at it that much. Anyway, I may start as long as we're here. I don't know. This. The pixels are not good. I think maybe if a light was directly in front of me, it would work better. So, we've heard from Lena. At least I know she's okay. Praise God for that. Keep her in your prayers. I know when my buddy died, I was devastated. And one of y'all heard from the Lord a message telling me my buddy was in heaven running with, how did he put it? He's having the time of his life running with the other animals, kitties, dogs, dogs, kitties, and even lions. He's having a ball. Anyway, it was something like that, and I wrote that down, and it's in Buddy's scrapbook on the back, inside the back of it. So, Lena, if you see this, know that Beignet is up there in heaven with Jesus, and you will see him again soon. She asked that we comment on the last video she made. Okay, that's all I have to say. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and this word. and Thank him. Thank you, Jesus, for this word you gave us. So encouraging. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us, anyone who watches this video and our devices and our internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. Be back later with some more recalls, some important hamburgers from Walmart and other things. Okay, but first I'm going to take my little doggy out, and I'll be back. All right, talk to you later.